there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about video games and gun violence. Alright, so specifically what we're going to be talking about is a video that Monday Matt did about not too long ago. Um, what apparently the video was about was a news site uh, known as New York Amsterdam News. Um, apparently a fairly credited uh, news site. I'm not 100% sure of exactly what all it is. I believe it's a very heavily accredited New York newspaper of some kind uh, that actually has been around for close to a century, so it's actually got some credentials to go with it and some experience. Uh, it's an article that Monday Matt himself actually went over uh, that has to do with video games and their cause of gun violence. So, before we actually get into the article, I do want to actually talk a little bit about um, what this article is supposed to pertain to and everything like that. Now, obviously, of course, this is pertaining to video games, which is a little bit more akin to what we're doing here on this particular channel, which is playing games and having fun and simply enjoying ourselves. And uh, this individual who wrote this story, a, um, I'm just going to say the first name because I can't really say the last name. Um, you, can, you can see the name on which we bring the article up. Uh, her name is Grace. Uh, apparently, from what the information we've been told of, is that she is, in fact, actually a high school student. Um, and I find myself curious as to precisely why this individual would have been given such a highly accredited platform if she's a high school student. Now, I imagine that the article itself was a fairly well-written article. I can't necessarily say that that's untrue. Um, I can't necessarily say that this wasn't probably like a high school project or something like that but it kind of makes me go into question as to exactly what exa what where exactly did it all come from did it was it just some kind of like uh, teacher or something like that who just decided that they wanted to take it farther and apply her her writing to and to these articles uh, to to these sites because apparently this actual article shows up a multitude of sites so this is just only one of them this is obviously the more accredited one um, the point that I'm trying to get at here is, is that I find myself curious as to why a high school student was given uh, this kind of a platform. Regardless of the fact that she's a high school student or otherwise, she's probably someone who has had real no influence upon the world. She's had no real actual experience with the world. She's had no real actual interaction with how games actually affect people and everything else along those particular lines. Um, she obviously makes a few notes, you know, notable comments about certain things that have occurred uh, within our history, um, and she accredits most of them to video games. And I believe, as you guys all know, and all probably agree, we don't believe and accredit the idea that video games cause violence. In my opinion, this is a case of correlation does not imply causality. Uh, that specifically meaning that just because this correlates with this does not mean it causes this. Um, for example, in this case, just because people play video games does not mean that that's the reason why gun shootings happen. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the article itself. So as you can see here, we do have the title of the article. It does say video games are a cause of gun violence. Very straightforward title. Feels a little bit a little bit forced, you know what I mean? I, I don't really think that's like it's really an unfair title if you think about it. It's just stating it as a fact because as we all know, it's just an automatic fact that g video games are a cause of all gun violence. So anyways, uh, you can also see there there's the name of the of the author. Uh, it was published on the 10th of August 2017 and let's go ahead and just move straight into the actual article. Um, so the first thing that it says in there is, do video games cause gun violence? Kind of the thing, same thing I would have said if I was writing a high school essay. Consistently studies have shown that they do, which is kind of weird to me because I've seen more studies that show that it doesn't. But whatever. From January 1st, 2017 to June 28th, 2017, there have been 216 mass shootings. Uh, the injury of murder or of injury or murder of four or more persons. 
The statistics are just in the United States. Perhaps part of this problem is the lack of gun regulations in the United States. But what if the problem could be solved by banning one thing? Video games. Which goes further into the idea that the only reason why any gun shootings ever occur at all is because, oh, video games. Which is a big leap because, you know, there's not other motivations as to why someone gets a gun and goes and shoots somebody. Yeah, there's not, there's not any other, other, any other correlation at all to that. There's nothing else that goes in along with that. Now, I don't want to immediately say and, and say that I myself believe that there's absolutely 100% no correlation at, at all or there's no attachment to a gun shooting from a video game like you, I, honestly I think that is someone who specifically straight up says that video games don't have some kind of reasoning or some kind of effect on shootings is kind of being a little ignorant or they're just being a little blind about it but to say that it's the only reason and to say that it's such a huge reason like it's the absolute number one reason and it's the only reason is just is even more ignorant than saying that it has no effect the idea in the long run what I'm trying to get at is that video games are violent and that can in fact lead to some s small violent tendencies I'm not saying that necessarily that the only reason why they led to violent tendencies is because of those video games. I'm sure there were many factors, especially when it comes to a gun shooting. I know for a fact that the majority of gun shootings have actually a lot to do with uh, depression, bullying, uh, loneliness, just, you know, a nice combination of things. The fact that they play video games just sort of like whatever, just in there. But let's move on. Many health associations and psychologists have agreed that video games coincide with an endless list of negative factors. In a recent study, 97% of children aged 12 to 17 reported playing video games, which is like it's like you're saying you're stating a fact that 97% of people from 12 to 17 play video games. And then you're not really adding anything else to that. You're just ending a sentence there. Okay, so 97% of people, isn't that kind of like going against your own narrative there? If 97% of people, of children, between the ages of 12 and 17 play video games, then why aren't there more shootings? Like, why aren't there like 97% shootings? If, if, if 97% of them are, if all shootings are caused by video games, and there are 97% of the people who play video games are 12 and 17. Why aren't there more shootings? Let's move on. All too often, these games are associated with brutally murdering individuals for the purpose of gaining a reward for violence. Schools have reported that 60% of middle school boys who participated in a mature rated video game had engaged in an act of physical violence. To be honest with you, it's sort of like, okay, so what you're saying is is that 97% of the people who basically exist in high school have played a video game. So 60% of the people who have committed violence in a middle school have played a video game that's, that's violent? What a surprise! It's like... I'm surprised that number's not 100%, or maybe more higher, like 97%. I mean, it's literally like straight up correlation does not cause causation, or is not imply causation. Apologies. It's just one of those things. It's just because they play video games does not mean that they were going to be violent. They're going to be violent regardless. And do you think that everybody who plays, like, everybody who actually was interviewed in this situation, that 60% of them have said that they actually played violent video games? I guarantee you every single person who has, been, who has been dangerous, who has committed violence in some way, has probably played a video game of some kind. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be violent. Probably played Pokemon. Probably played... To be honest with you, that's the only one I can really think of that's not violent. 
um, at the moment because of the fact that I'm so angry right now because I'm so violent. It's because of those games, man. I keep playing all those dangerous, deadly games. But anyways, the Journal of the American Medical Association discovered that participants had a significantly higher increase in aggressive behavior compared with those who did not engage in these games. Participating in this sport is linked to decreasing empathy and kindness, both fundamental and necess necessary. I'm sorry, that's just weird for my tongue. Uh, both fundamental and necessary requirements for being a decent human being. But why is it video games are the only ones that cause that? Why is it like... Why don't like why doesn't normal sports do that? Do you think that normal sports don't do that? Do you think that like somehow some shape or form football doesn't some kind of some way shape or form cause some kind of conflict and engagement between individuals that makes them less developed than other people? I mean, I don't necessarily think that that's the case. I don't think that someone playing football is going to end up making them more dangerous to society. But why is it that video games do that but not football? I mean, I can literally turn this on the fit, like, of everybody, you know, why, why does not ROTC, like, why does ROTC not cause more violence to people? I mean, that's just as equally as a, an aggressive sport, as one might call it, as some other people, you know, some people might call it. I mean, you have, you literally get a gun and you get to shoot it. I mean, that's if you're on the rifle team, of course. Um, but the point is, is that, you know, it's just like, it's literally the same thing. It's like, okay, Who's to say that the hundreds of people who are part of the ROTC or the hundreds of people who have joined into football, why aren't people doing that kind of investigation? Why haven't they investigated these things? Is it just because they've been around for generations and trying generations? Or is it something else? And what about all the studies that say otherwise? You know what I mean? What about all the other studies that are out there that specifically say video games don't cause these problems? So let's move on a little bit here. The FBI stated that students who make violent threats towards themselves or others should be taken more seriously if they play video games. Wow. Yes, because somebody who makes a threat towards themselves or other people should never be taken seriously unless they play video games. I mean, in, if they're playing video games, they're straight up there in the list of terrorists that we need to be putting, you know, holy moly. Popular video games such as Doom 2, 1996, were used for primary... For the primary purpose of training soldiers to kill without feeling. I, and I'm curious as to where they got that or where she got that. I mean, I, I'm not necessarily saying that that's not the case. I mean, I want to know where she got that site. Like, where did she get that? Where, where did she get that information? Where, where I, I want to know. I actually really want to know if that's true. I mean, a lot of this, I want to know if it's actually true. But one of, the, of course, the biggest issues you'll see in here is that there's no citations anywhere. You know, she'll she'll give off like stuff about all this thing. Oh, an FBI study. What FBI study? Where's the link? Can I have something like that? Do I have to actually go and look for this? It's literally making the logical fallacy a burden of proof. The fact is, is that they're just stating them as fact and leaving us with the fact of proof. And that's not how burden of proof works. You're the one making the claim. You got to show that it's, that it's true. You are, have the one with the burden of proof. You are the one with the burden of proof. You have to prove your stance. Okay. That's all I'm going to say there. So moving on between all of that, uh, let's go just go on ahead and move here. Uh, the difference between letting soldiers play and letting children is the fact that soldiers are simultaneously equipping themselves with disciplinary skills and the ability to resisting further damage. Like, and I find myself curious about that. It's like, where do you get the idea that they do that? I don't know about you, but I have soldiers in my family. None of them go through any kind of real training that are equipping themselves to resist further damage in the way that she says this you know they go they do not go through any kind of mental soldiers don't go through mental training they're just expected to understand that you don't go around killing people unless we tell you to you know what i mean i'm just saying like i don't know of any training that they ever went through now don't get me wrong i could be wrong i'm not a soldier i didn't go through the training i just have a cousin another cousin an uncle, a father, a brother, a, you know what I mean? I can name off a couple more. Grant, 
two grandfathers. They've all been through the military. They've all gone into the military. Three grandfathers, actually, because I have a stepfather. But anyways. The difference between letting soldiers play, blah, 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 blah. Whereas children lack the ability to do either. I'm not really entirely sure that makes sense. Why does the children not understand the concept that they shouldn't go around killing people? You know what I mean? Like, how does that make sense? For some reason, because of the fact that it's a soldier, they're equipped with the ability to not go around killing people, but a child just doesn't understand that. Oh, it's a video game. They played a video game. Clearly, it's we're allowed to just go around killing people. Yeah, because that just doesn't automatically come into our common sense uh, peripheral and just go, oh, yeah, that's a bad thing to do. Look, I don't think anybody who kills somebody doesn't know it's bad. If somebody kills somebody, they know it's bad. I mean, let's face it, even in Doom, there's like constantly the whole concept that everything that's going on around them is bad. The whole, like everything that, all the death and destruction and killing that's happened is bad. It's the reason why hell's breaking loose. You know, hell's a bad thing. Dave Grossman, a former lieutenant colonel of the U.S. Army and professor at West Point Military Academy, stated through interactive point-and-shoot video games, modern nations are indiscriminately introducing to their children the same weapon technology that major armies and law enforcement agencies around the world use to turn off the midbrain safety catch. This sport also increases bullying and assaults directed toward women. And I feel like that's just like, I'm going to virtue signal here. Oh, just to let you know, it also makes it so that you are deadly towards women and you bully other people. It's just like, we're just going to throw that out there at you. Because for some reason, video games have that. Because cause I, I, I know the last time I played a video game, it was all about the hatred of women. You know what I mean? Um, even back in the day, or back when I was a young kid, God, there was just hatred towards women everywhere. I don't never played a single game where there's ever been an actual like hate towards women. Uh, at least one that's not like deemed as the bad guy. You know what I mean? Anybody? I remember playing Borderlands 2 just a little while ago. We literally had someone in the game. Like, making fun of a woman. Because she's a woman. And then your job was basically to go blow him up. Because he's a bad guy. And everybody was like, yes, we blew him up. That was great. And in case your eyes are wondering, it's the it's where you get the artillery to go test the shield. And it just so happens, you, you guys will know what I'm talking about. But the fact is, is that that's like, that's the, that's the image that's given to us in video games. Even if it's a violent video game, guess what? There's, you don't kill women. You pretty much never kill women. If you do kill women, guess what? The women are just like minions or they're, they're bad women. They're like actually bad women, you know? Like they're not just women. You don't just go running around beating up women. And if you do, you're playing a Grand Theft Auto game. And the only reason why you can do that is because you can equally do that to the men just as much. You pretty much indiscriminately just drive down the side of the street running everybody over. Black, white, fat, women, men, Asian, doesn't matter who the hell they are. They could be an Oompa Loompa, you'll run the hell. Actually, if they're an Oompa Loompa, you'd probably aim for them, <laughs> to be completely honest. But regardless, I don't see how games especially nowadays and and really at all ever have ever actually portrayed the idea that women are weak or that we perpetuate the concept of violence towards women when in the majority of the time the game is almost always saying how bad it is and how wrong it is to be bad towards women Then she starts to bring up the like the multitude of um, like a, a multitude of like shootings that have happened like within high schools and stuff like that. Uh, two teenagers in 1999 fatally shot 13 students at the Columbine High School in, Col in Columbine. Uh, 
Colorado. James Holmes injured 70 and killed 12 at a movie theater in Aurora, Colorado. Something about Colorado, man. Maybe it's just because they didn't have that weed. <laughs> Maybe they'll stop doing it so much if they got now that they got the weed. Jared Lee Longner shot and killed six people, including Christina Taylor Green, which for some reason they decided to bring up someone's specific name. Age nine, yeah, because you know the high schoolers, because they were they were seventeen and eighteen and sixteen and stuff like that. That makes them such a less less of a less of an individual because they're they were slightly older than the nine year old. I, that's like bringing up you know that's like bringing up children just to sort of cause like a, a outrage in something just because of the fact that it was a child that was shot. Yeah, guess what? The sixteen and seventeen year old they were still children too. Injured Congresswoman Gabriel Guilford's at a political event in Tucson, Arizona in 2011. That was including to the other shot. Anders Breivik killed 77 people in Norway. So she's going to bring up the she's going to bring up something in Norway that's not in America. She's clearly been saying all of this has to do with America, and then all of a sudden it happens in a different country. What do all these people have in common besides the fact that they all engaged in gun violence? All of them grew up playing video games. Breivik even admitted to using Modern Warfare 2 for training. Engaging in the sport desensitizes people to the point of thinking physical violence is acceptable behavior. Prescribing video games might be exactly what this country needs. And so on. And then that's where it mentions that she's a senior at... Um, High, at a high school and it's that's to be honest with you it's almost completely irrelevant that she's a high schooler in in, in uh at, at this point but the fact of the matter is is that the fact that she's a high schooler might kind of pertain as to why she has her the opinion that she does because all the children at this point are growing up to be virtue signaling buttholes i don't know why i didn't just say asshole but whatever the fact of the matter is is that this is kind of my problem None of this makes any sense. None of this even correlates with one another. Like, it's all just stuff. It's all just hoopla that just says, oh, yeah, this this is what happens. This is why it happens. Right here. Why? I, I don't know. It just does. Like, do I have to give a reason? Um, Some guy somewhere said something about video games after he shot people? That's why. I mean, that, that, from that's what I'm getting from this. Because one person somewhere, some, and not even somebody in New, in the U.S., I might add, someone apparently in Norway said that because he played a video game, he he didn't even say that he because he played a video game. He just said he used a video game to get practice. I mean, he, I mean, that in and of itself is almost a self-defeating statement because the fact is he didn't even use the video game. He didn't He didn't play the video game and get the idea to go shoot people from the video game. He used the video game to go practice. Now, don't get me wrong. I know video games are good at hand-eye coordination and practice because I myself am actually a very good shot. My brother, who used to play video games a lot, also a very good shot. Not going to lie, it does improve your ability to shoot people. But that doesn't really mean that you're going to go out and do it. Do you see me going out and shooting people? I don't even own guns. Look at the swords I have on my wall. I like swords, not guns. Don't get me wrong. I like a good gun every once in a while. But that's I don't like guns. I like swords. But that doesn't mean that I can't shoot. That doesn't mean that I don't know how to shoot just from playing video games. The fact is, there are guns in the game. Hell, I've got a gun. i got a game for a VR that's all about just shooting guns at a gun range. It's all about literally actually knowing how to use the gun accurately, too. And I'm not going to say that there isn't, like, some level of learning there. I mean, the fact is, is that part of my biggest problem, I think, with most people when it comes to guns and such like that is that they're not educated enough. I believe people should be more educated when it comes to video or when it comes to games. Guns, I'm sorry. But they should be more educated when it comes to games, too. I mean, the fact is, is that it's all just a mixture of uneducation. She's not educated when it comes to video games. I guarantee she's never picked up a video game in her entire life. I guarantee she's probably never picked up a gun in her entire life either. And the fact of the matter is, is that... 
it's just it's just it just makes me sad it, it depresses me that that this is the and this is the next generation that's coming up behind me you know what i mean this isn't even just millennials this is the next generation after millennials you know what i mean this is this is the generation that's coming up and they're going to be the ones that we have to deal with next and they're the ones that are going to be like that now hopefully the fact that 97 percent apparently of all students because i mean 12 to 17 all not, I mean, that's a lot of students let's face it but if 97 percent of all students play video games in some way shape or form maybe we'll get through this whole stigma of how video games are causing violence but anyways guys i certainly hope you like this video so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you did, you know the drill by now. Go on ahead and hit that like button. If you really liked it, go on and hit that share button. If you loved it and you haven't already, go on and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. Don't forget to have fun.